Hello, guildmates. I'm creating this video to assist in understanding this quantum incursion document by, I guess it's Flot Karotz, who put out this guide to building out the Q uh, quantum incursion towns. And you have a YouTube, you can go and check it out, or you can look at the document itself, or just listen to my analysis of the document. So let's go to the document. So the document is a spreadsheet, and I'm using a smartphone, and it's not that easy to navigate because the limits of my screen size and I cannot zoom in and out of the spreadsheet because I don't have rights to do that. Okay, no problem. But the, the top left corner has a nice overview. So as I understand quantum incursion by reading and following all this uh, hoopla that other people have put out on YouTube and uh, different comments and Eno's own. You need to create a settlement which provides you with coins, supplies, euphoria, and that will allow you to get the units and the goods that will allow you to navigate the map where there are, uh, I forget what they're called, in which you can battle or donate goods or uh, do what you need to do in order to gain whatever it is that you're gaining, okay? I'm sorry if my uh, explanation is a little bit offhand but I have not rehearsed this and I don't have time to sit down and do a full-blown production. So, I'm just going to overview with my voice my opinion of this document. The document is very well uh, put, uh, very smart and very helpful. So, you want to set up your settlement. The settlement you can harvest once every 10 hours in a 24 hour period. That's two times. So I guess the way he set it up is for twice a, uh, twice a day. And it's up to you if you want to shave some of the hours and achieve it faster or not, or if you have the time, or you're a busy person, you might do it less frequently than once every 10 hours. But anyway, so you can all read it uh, along. So he's got the overview here. I don't know what this column here stands for. Okay, this, I have no idea, but okay. So, here's our very good tips. He says, do not use your chosen goods for any good sector until you've finished your town. He set up a way to design the town and create it so by Tuesday you should be finished. So don't do, don't use your goods to do any of the nodes on the map until the town is set up. So start out on Thursday, figure out Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you set up the town. When it's finally set up the way he shows you how it should be set up, which I agree with, then you can do whatever you like with your 
goods and units that your town generated or settlement, whatever. Okay. For fighting, he recommends you use ballistas and archers. I guess Iron Age, those were very good attack units. Uh, it depends how familiar you are with Iron Age. Iron Age is the age that you want to learn as much as you can about the game. Unfortunately, too many people skip it too fast. I started on Christmas Day of 2023 in this world. I'm still in Iron Age. Look at my city, very well developed. I have a military boost of over 400 by 400. And I have an arc that's leveled at 80 and a CF chateau that's uh, 50 plus. It's going to a minimum of 72 and it will probably be at one, 100 plus, maybe 120. When I move into EMA, because I do recurring quests, I'm a big recurring quest player, but that's not quantum incursions. Anyway, so I'm very familiar with Iron Age. I also like manual fighting, and that's a different story. But anyway, choose Ballista. Now, if you notice uh, later on, you'll see the cost of the units. Ballistas happen to cost twice as much, primarily because they're effective, they're very good. Uh, in GVG, now that I have my military boost over 400 for GVG, both attack and defense, I use eight ballistas successfully and I can do auto battle until my attrition gets to 25 without really losing any units. Once it gets to 25, I start losing units and I hate losing units. I don't have a trash because I don't like losing units. So I have over 400 ballistas. I have over 400 over each Iron Age military unit because I do uh, manual battles when I don't have enough of a military boost. Uh, I can continue fighting until my attrition goes to 40 without a problem. You can all see my latest uh, foray. I stopped negotiating. I used to negotiate because I had no military boost. So I would do 100 negotiations a day or 50 negotiations a day as long as I had the attrition. But I stayed with negotiations until 15 attrition, because at 16, they require you to use three goods, and that I think is just too expensive. Okay, enough of distractions. So, you start on Thursday, okay? You start your town, okay? You want to build four roof tile houses, eight butchers, three amphitheaters, and nine path in the sand, which is another word for roads. And then you will harvest them ten hours later. We got a message from Byron, okay. And what you will end up with is a population of 200, euphoria of 450. Okay, your factor will be 1.5, which is important because your production for coins and supplies is dependent on the level of euphoria that your town is in. So your coin production at the end of the 10 hour period is 37,500 and supply production 75,000. 
to start the, the quantum incursion, you get 150,000 coins, 150,000 supplies, no, sorry, 50,000 supplies by building what he recommended you use 42,000 coins 900 supplies so you end up with 108,000 coins and 14,100 supplies when you add the harvest at the end of the 10 hour period you'll gain Okay, so now, let's look at, here's got a breakdown of the buildings. Each building, its costs, supply costs and coin cost, the population it provides, euphoria it provides, all required. Three buildings require euphoria. Monument, Victory Pillar, and Aqueduct. So when you, when you pay it for them with coins and supplies, you also pay for them with euphoria. Okay? And then it shows you what each building that you have produces in terms of coins, supply, QI actions. I'm not sure what that is, but I will learn. Red attack and blue attack, that's the military boost that these buildings provide. All right. So, he says, step one. Buy two expansions for quantum shards, and they are will cost you 250 quantum shards. I guess their version of metals. They need to be next to each other, and on the top line or the bottom link of your starting layout. That means he, he wants you to have a grid. So it's all connected so that you can design, you can follow his layout of the buildings that he already set up. You want to pick links with less in, in, impediments. And he says if there's one free expansion at the bottom and two at the top, buy at the top. Remove the impediments if needed, and that will cost you quantum shards. Then you build the four roof tile houses, eight butchers, three amphitheater, and nine paths. And then wait for the ten hours for the next harvest. Now this is the layout that you want to set them up. Okay? You got the two amphitheaters in the two uh, expansions that you probably bought. There's your town hall, you've got a butcher, and then there, between the butcher and the uh, roof tile, there's a road that connects the three, and then there are two roads connecting the two butchers and the additional uh, roof tile house to your town on the bottom left side. Then you have these five roads, okay, that connect three butchers, all right, actually four butchers, three butchers on the bottom and one butchers on the, all the way on the right, and on top of those roads you got the two roof tile outs that makes four roof tile outs, and then above it you have one amphitheater, uh, and you have one more butcher, which I guess it's the ninth one. So if you count all the butchers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, eight butchers. Yeah, eight butchers, okay? So this is the layout that you want to set up, okay? So then you have the next day. Next day you harvest, set up your alarm clock. Don't waste time. So it's Thursday, whatever hour it is for you, whatever time zone you're in. For me, it's 7 o'clock in the evening. 
It means I have to get up 5 o'clock in the morning the next day to harvest. Sometimes I'm able to do that, but not always. I'll see. I'll find out. Uh, okay. So, now... And on this day, after you harvest, okay, let's go for your, the instructions. You harvest, you sell one butcher, gives you space, and you build one cottage. Okay, so which, which butcher did he sell? He sold the one all the way on the top right, next to the amphitheater. Okay, and he moved. All right. You wait one hour until the cottage is done. And then you sell one amphitheater and you build one good building. You wait one hour until the goods building is ready. You produce 12 goods and sell the goods building afterwards. He, he wants you to preserve the space in your settlement. So don't just keep the goods building because you're too cheap to buy and sell. It's okay. It's not that expensive. Get rid of it. Use the space to be functional, okay? Now, with the goods that you just produced, because it's instantaneous, you buy an expansion, okay, so, and you put that expansion next to the one you already had before, and now you build one tailor, you build another roof tile house, and now you build the amphitheater back again, because you needed the space for the goods building. That's why you got rid of the amphitheater. Okay? Now you wait one hour to start the tailor production. Okay? Now, this is how it looks like. So, if you see here, you got on the top the two amphitheaters that were there to begin with. But the amphitheater that you originally had, that you sold, you had to put the goods building there, then you sold it, and then you bought an expansion where you can now put the roof tile house. Now, you, he's got... He's got five roof tile houses, and he's got one cottage. Notice he placed the cottage on the left side where it used to be a roof tile. So he moved the roof tile that was there and he moved it over to the top right, okay? Everything else is just about the same except for the uh, amph amphitheater. Sorry, my pronunciation is a little bit off. Okay. And now, once you've got all these Again, another 10 hours for to harvest. So now, where's your third day? Whoops, I'm losing myself. Okay, this is day three. Okay, Friday, 24 hours. Second harvest is done. First thing you do, you harvest, okay? Remember that. All right. So, at the end of the first harvest and uh, the first, you had the buildings, you started out with I don't know why it's got three roof tile houses, supposedly I had four. I guess he sold it. I'm not sure if that's an error or not. Could be. But he's added a cottage. He went down from eight butchers to seven. 
but he's got a tailor. Okay? The amphitheater has been increased from three to four. The path in the sun has stayed the same, still nine. Okay, so what I'm confused a little bit is where did he purchase the fourth amphitheater? Let's see, step one, step two. Because step five, he sold an amphitheater. All right. So in step 12, he buys an amphitheater. On the map, he's got three amphitheaters. He doesn't have four, but his numbers here are off. Okay, go by the map, okay? Don't go by necessarily by the numbers. So he says here, amphitheater four, he actually has three. Okay, he's got, ah, uh, because he had four and he sold one, so he comes up to one, okay. So, when they're ready to be harvested, he's back to three. Okay, now I understand his logic. All right. And nine is your roads. Oops, don't jump on me here. Okay, so these are your roads. All right. Next. All right. Now, on Friday, your third harvest You harvest two roof tiles and sell them. Okay, as soon as you harvest two roof tiles, he says to sell them immediately because he needs the space. Harvest the rest of your settlement. Then sell all three amphitheaters, okay? And you build one triumphal arch, one cottage, and then you wait one hour, and then you build three butchers and two paths, okay? So, okay, so I think he needed to sell only two because he still, here he has, how did he have four amphitheaters? Okay, the numbers don't exactly add up, but I guess we'll see as we, we do it. If somebody can figure this out better than me, please let me know in the comments, in the question and tips part of the guild's chat. My phone is misbehaving. That's why you see things jumping here. Okay. When I hold the phone, and it just touches the side, it just thinks I tapped it, and that's why it jumped. Okay. All right, so, basically, he's giving you the instructions what to do with the step-by-step -step here. He's giving you the layouts, how to lay them down and set them up. And this will be three, four days from now. Anyone has any questions, we got plenty of time to review what we're doing and answer the questions. So, I hope this quick video has been somewhat helpful. I like the way the layout is, but because I'm using a smartphone and I cannot see everything at once, and I have to navigate with my finger, and of course my smartphone is kind of funky by jumping on me sometimes it's a little difficult but it's still doable and it should be interesting as I understand it by Tuesday your city should be set up and 
should be all ready. If you harvest two times a day, you can build every day one triumphal arch plus nine decorations. And that gives you 45% attack boost per day. So you will hit 270% attack on the last day. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, the reason you need to build the triumphal arch is because when you build those nine decorations, they require euphoria. And that's where you supply it with the euphoria. Okay. All right. I'm done. 25 minutes. Not bad.